A second review on this G3 boat. I've had uh, a subscriber request a follow-up on the uh, boat. I've had it now for a good portion of a half of a year. Um, and he wanted to know what I liked and what I didn't like about it. So basically, I'm just going to go over some real quick things about this boat. Um, there are some likes and some dislikes. So let's get started on that. Um, my likes. As far as fuel efficiency, this uh, four-stroke 70 uh, F Yamaha is uh, very efficient. I'm still running the fuel from July. Uh, I haven't fueled this boat yet. Got about maybe three quarters of a tank left uh, on here. The dislike about that is that I, I have to put some kind of treatment I took it out today to turn it on, but it's just been a while. Um, uh, gasoline here in Florida tends to go bad because of the heat and all, so you, you have to treat the fuel. Um, aside of that, the, the boat is great to fish on. It's got good walking deck, accommodates two people really well, handles well on the water. Um, my dislike on it is that uh, I wish it had a little more of a storage compartment but just like everyone else um, people get some boats and they'll have uh, tons of storage but then they find something else that they're not gonna like I think they should have uh, not to me personally on this particular boat I have two live wells I have one that is uh, for bait and then it's I have another one which I'm sitting on for whatever you catch and keep they both work well. Um, there's one thing I did notice about this boat was that uh, when you f when you are on the water, the original uh, plugs that it came in, the original plugs that came in were kind of not that great. So the live well fills up on his on his own not a lot but just enough to get that compartment wet and if you're like me using it for somewhat of storage um, you're gonna end up having your stuff getting wet I upgraded it to this particular type of plug but even with this at times if you don't have it singed down right you will get water in it um, aside of everything else that I can tell you about the boat um, there's not a whole lot of dislike on it uh, there are some things as far as the in the electrical, not the wiring itself, but I have a thermal switch in the back for my trolling motor. I could, I, and I am going to upgrade it. Is that that thermal switch is not the greatest, and um, I run a, a smaller motor for fresh water. So if I'm on windy days and that motor's drawing a lot of amperage on it, it'll heat up that thermal uh, breaker shut the whole thing down and then you got to wait a few seconds for it to um, to cool down so that you can uh, reset it again um, aside of that I wish this boat had come with an RPM gauge which it didn't have it has all the other gauges but I'm gonna bring it around here come on the back side of this and last time I showed you I had the gauges you know you have your fuel your RPMs and your miles it would have been nice to have the R, uh, I'm sorry this is your your uh, hour clock it would have been nice to have a RPM on it but you know you can't have everything on a boat the other thing too is when you're running your live wells um, I don't know which battery source is using this boat did not come with a what they call a dual switch where you can change the batteries from A to B or from 1 to 2 so I am probably going to end up having that installed to give me that option um, and aside of that guys I don't really know what more I can say poorly yes I did upgrade my uh, death finder I didn't like the death finder it came so I'm using now a Lawrence 
It's called the dual imaging system, which gives me the the operating uh, down image. This is what the boat looks overall. I am going to turn it on in a few minutes just to get it running. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have not turned this on for a while. So what I'm going to do now is kick it on. Run some of this fuel into the motor itself. Hopefully it'll turn on the first hit. There you go. That's one thing about Yamaha, man. They can sit for, for the longest, and as long as you're doing the fuel treatment on them, they'll start right up. Um, I've had a Mercury before, and they, they're a little bit of a harder start, but um, I don't know, this is just something about Yamaha Motors. Um, there is one more thing I didn't cover. Um, that's the uh, trailer itself on the boat. It's great for salt, uh, it's great for fresh water, but when it comes to salt water, you have to kind of rig it up in a, in a way that you can flush the channel out, and all, so it doesn't end up getting corroded by uh, salt water. If you're going to be doing a lot of salt water fishing, um, I tend to do, do both. Um, so what I did was I modified a little bit of the channel on the. On the bottom of the trailer and I'll show you in a few minutes what I did. Alright guys, so my little modification to this trailer is um, this point here. I have a little cap here and this whole trailer is pretty much hollow through and through. It's not a solid trailer. Um, so what I did is I cored out a little hole there which allows me to put my pressure washer and um, I'll run my pressure washer through there and it'll run all the water all the way to the front of the trailer. Now there is something that you can use, it's called a desalter, which I, um, I use. And I'll get that product out, it's just give me a minute and I'll get back. Alright, so this is what I'm using. Anytime I go salt water fishing, it's called salt, salt off. And my um, pressure washer has a dew chamber where you can put the soap in. And as you press the gun, it, uh, it takes along the uh, soap. And um, it does like a, mix, a mixture ratio. So this way, when I'm flushing the trailer of the boat, I'm getting both things in. So, aside of that, um, there's not a whole lot I can tell you about the dislike. There's more of likes on it, but I wish that I had a little more of compartment storage, at least for my life jackets. You know, I've been using my live well here to store it and actually I take that divider out but ideally um, I'd rather not compromise the live well if I don't have to it would be nicer just having um, an extra compartment but you can't have everything on a boat per se you know there are always some flaws that you're gonna find every boat has them and unless you truly have your boat custom made then it's a different story aside of that um, you know I, I can't really complain this is a you know, really good boat to go out and fish with it's comfortable and um, you know, I'm, I'm I always feel very secure about going out and coming back home with it I don't do anything crazy on the water um, and most of the time I'm either fishing alone or I may have a, a friend along but a good percentage of the time I'm, I'm by myself um, <clears throat> anyway I hope this could help help the uh, person who requested a follow up on it the uh, the motor on this boat I can't complain it's great it's very fuel efficient um, in going over the stuff wish I had a uh, RPM uh, clock on this and um, as far as the uh, 
the uh, dual switch which doesn't come with you have, you have to have that install and uh, storage compartment and that's it folks anyway thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos